everyone, I'm Lexi Liu, and I know it's been a while since I've done the video and all. Um, basically, I've had a lot going on. Uh, my stuff bag, he just fell and basically broke his back, and his whole side, I think it's his left or right side of his ribs, he broke like four ribs and his back. So, I've been having to take care of him while my mom's been at work. She just had a surgery done. Um, I'm not really sure it was some type of uh, surgery done to her um, uterus. She's going through pre, pre, uh, I can't talk pre-menopause, so she had that done. So I'm the oldest, um, and I've been taking care of my two brothers and my sister. Well, my oldest brother, he's 19, so he doesn't really need taken care of. I, my other two siblings don't either, but she's Leah's. 16 and Jacob is 13 so but you know I've been making him dinner and stuff so it's just been a while since I've been able to do a video but I'm back um, I hope you all have had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's and I hope you got lots of goodies um, this video I know I've been kind of switching between Wiccan videos and I call them the Violet Cauldron videos and then mixed media videos. Um, I was going to make a new channel and do specifically just call it the Violet Cauldron, but I think I'm just going to continue on doing it like this, like I've been doing until I decide otherwise. So the point of this video is I'm going to show you all of my new sets I got for Christmas, and I got quite a few, and I did not pay full price for all of these, believe me. I got them on Amazon and eBay for very, very cheap. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you some of them. This one is The Wisdom of the Hidden Realm, and this one had a five-star review on Amazon, I believe, and I just love it. It's, um, it's gorgeous. It has gilded edging like Doreen Virtue does. See that? Isn't that beautiful? And the cards, I just love them. I just really connected with them, and I've got, I've been getting some good readings with them. And she does do reverse readings. I like it when Oracle cards do reverse readings as well as um, right side up readings, because a lot of Oracle decks, they only do right side up. They don't have the reverse meaning. But I think because tarot decks do, I don't know, I just think it's kind of important to show the dark side as well as the good side. Well, not really the dark side, but, you know, um, the shadow side and the light side when it comes to Wicca and tarot and all that good stuff. This one's gorgeous. How about that? The sun dancers, isn't that pretty? Sorry, there's a bit of a glare. So, yeah. This is a nice deck. I highly recommend it. Um, it's by Colette Baron Reed. It's her name. And I believe she has a few other tarot decks, and that's the front of them. That. Um, and she has this really neat exercise that you do before you um, can use the deck. You don't really have to do it if you want to, but I did it, and it was fun. Um, you basically go into um, a meditation, a meditative state, and it's all written down in here in a little booklet, and you go into the hidden realm, which is what the, the tarot deck, or I mean, the oracle deck is titled. And um, it's just neat. It's like this uh, dove comes down, and it carries you this letter saying you've been invited to the hidden realm, and you get to cross over, and it's, it's kind of neat. So I thought that was a neat little touch that she added to um, the deck. So, uh, the next one, Healing, Healing with the Angels, or Cards by Doreen Virtue. Uh, I have the book, Healing with the Angels, and I actually purchased the book first. It was my grandmother's, so I didn't really purchase it. She gave it to me a long time ago when I was in the eighth grade, before I was even into all this stuff. Well, I was always into angels. I always kind of found angels interesting, but, um, I will show you the artwork as I talk, so this video isn't like an hour long. Um, so yeah, I had the book, and I read part of it, and I think I used it for um, a philosophy class I took in college, and I read about oh, three-fourths of it, and so I've been starting to read it again while I've been using this deck along with it. You don't necessarily have to buy the book. 
healing with the, yeah, healing with the angels in order to, you know, do the death. But it's nice to have both, like it is with anything. It's really pretty. Um, just really, you know, what you think an angel would look like type of card. They're kind of hard to shuffle, I will admit that. They kind of stick together. I shuffle them like a two-year-old. I still don't know how to shuffle. I know it's horrible. Um, yeah, I think it's because they're so new, maybe. I'm not sure. The friendship one's pretty. A little cherub. Cute. Um, this one got pretty good reviews on Amazon as well. And I'm going to do another video later showing you how I um, cleanse my tarot decks and my oracle card decks. I did say I use selenite, this crystal. And I just kind of, you know, I kind of keep one in the box with the tarot or with the oracle cards. I'm going to say tarot cards, the oracle cards. And I just kind of close this. Some of them will close, some of them won't. And I have a big box I keep all of my oracle and tarot cards in. And I kind of keep a couple selenite crystals in there. So it keeps it cleansed. And I also use Himalayan salt as well. And I'll do a video on that later. Um, what do we have next here? Oh, my favorite. The Druid Tarot deck. This has actually became my go-to deck. I love this deck. I love it, love it, love it. I cannot highly recommend it enough. Um, I remember when I first got into tarot reading and YouTube, and or not YouTube, tarot reading and or card readings and watching videos on YouTube about them, everybody said, you know, you're going to have a go-to deck. And I thought to myself, oh, no. I kept buying, like, this is seriously only just half of my tarot deck and oracle card deck. I just kept buying and buying them at first. I kind of slowed down now since I've, you know, kind of found a go-to deck, I guess, but this is it. It's not anything fancy, but it's my go-to deck, you know. That's the fool. Um, sorry. I don't know why my computer is not blinky. I still haven't remedied that problem yet. I would be doing this on my iPad, but um, it's my iCloud screwing up and it won't let me. It won't let me record anything, so. And it's just simple, the deck is. Just, you know. It's a magician. I don't know why. I always feel like I want to show people the magician whenever I'm showing the tarot card decks. I just feel like it's one of the more important cards. I don't know why. I just, I'm like, here's the magician. If the magician looks good, then yeah, I go ahead and buy the deck. I don't know. Um, I do like it. I've always, I don't know, I like the magician. So it's just, you know, kind of, I like how the colors aren't, you know, in your face, like, bright. They're more of, like, a watercolor type deal. I like that. And um, the back of them, they're pretty big, so they're kind of hard to shuffle, and they're thick. Very thick, and see, that's, I have pretty big hands. And, yeah, it's hard to shuffle them and get your hands around them. So, um, but I don't have that problem because I shuffle like this anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, anyways, this is the back of them, just, you know, simple, and I don't know, I just really, I, I take into it, because I'm half Irish, and, um, actually, I think I'm more than half Irish, I think I might be full-blooded Irish, and I'm not for sure, though. I might have a little German in me, but I'm not for sure. So I've been studying with Celtic Pantheon. It's like the first pantheons that, you know, the Morrigan, Bridget, all of them were like um, were the first pantheons. I started to study the uh, Druids, the Bards, and all of them. I've read books about them, so that's why I think that's probably why I connected with this deck so well. It's because I do have a little bit of, you know, Irish, and that's where the Celts came from, Ireland, so... I don't know. This next deck is a oracle card deck, Le Vampire, by Lucy Cavendish. I just love her little, I just love them. I want to order, like, because it has in the back of the book, you can order, um, if you like one of her specific oracle cards, you can actually order it in, like, a poster size, and I'm definitely going to do that. I just have to pick a card. Just, they're so beautiful, I can't pick just one. I mean, look at that artwork. Isn't that just gorgeous? At first, I thought these were kind of, you know, like foo-foo tarot 
I mean, Oracle cards, and I wasn't really into them, but I just think they're so gorgeous. And something about the vampire ones, they just kind of, kind of touched me. I'm a little goth like that, I'm going to admit. I'll admit it, I'm a little goth. <laughs> you wouldn't tell by looking at me, but I am into vampires and into all that kind of stuff. I'm into Anne Rice and, you know, zombies. And I'm a nerd, yeah. Yeah, so you can order these by, um, in full size posters. So I thought that's pretty cool. So I should pick one. That one's neat. I really like this one. Um, so is this one. This is what the back one looks like. And you can read these in reverse as well. Upright and reverse. They have both meanings. The book is nice and big and thick. I always like that. Let's see. Um, the artist, her name is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. 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 I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. And you can order her artwork. So I thought it was pretty cool. Something as well. I always I get her a lot. I always get the um, I can't even pronounce it the Nayanad. I get her a lot whenever I do the readings with this deck. Supposedly it's laying at your wild side, so I don't know. Next we have the Fantastical Creatures Tarot by Lisa Hunt and the artwork is by DJ Conway. I love this. This is my first um major tarot deck I got when I first started getting into tarot readings. This is the first deck I really got that I actually, you know, when I started understanding tarot readings and understanding what it was all about, I understood the means of the pentacles, the four, you know, the suits, the major and minor arcana. Um, it came in this big box thing, but that's what it comes in. I think when you buy it at bookstores and stuff, it just comes like this. It's probably a lot cheaper, too. But if you buy it in this big box, Thing. I'm just going to call it big box thing because I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, you do get this nifty little guide, and I do love this. I have to admit, it's pretty cool. Two sided, and if I can open it, it's going to blink again. Sorry, guys. You're just going to have to bear with me here at the blinking, but you can kind of get the gist of it. Um, there we go. I stopped it. It has its own layout. It has its own fantastical creatures layout, and it tells you about what's the meaning and the history behind it. It kind of reminds me of something from Lord of the Rings. And then back here it has um, fantastical creatures tarot, the decision layout, the present life challenges layout, the pyramid layout, and the changes layout. So it gives you four different layouts. And sorry again for the blinking. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I think this only comes with Fantastical Creatures Tarot if you purchase it like this in the box, the big box. I'll show you a few of the cards. I don't want to make this video, you know, forever, we're already 13 minutes in. So, and it also comes with a little white book. I like the artwork. I did connect with this as well. I, I need to start using this deck a lot more. I kind of forget what decks I have. When you have a lot of oracle card decks and a lot of tarot card decks, you kind of forget which ones you have and which ones, you know, you like and the reasons why you like them. So, it just has neat, like, beasties and dragons and, I mean, fantastical creatures. It's basically what it has. Mermaids. And I'm all into that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. Fairies and shapeshifters even. I love it. Yeah, I definitely need to start using this deck more often. So I forgot when I was flipping through it, and I was actually, when I first got it in the mail and I was looking at each and every card, I, um, I really did connect with it. I just, I absolutely loved it. It's kind of looks like a medicine man. Sorry about that glare, guys. I'm really sorry. This crappy audio visual set here I have going on. This one's cute, the Page of Pinnacles. This is a good one. 
Oh, I like this one. They're Sitars. It's the Chariot. I mean, how awesome is that? It still has your basic Wainwright meaning, so it's not too difficult to understand, but at the same time, it just takes it to a new level. So I love it. I highly recommend this. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, what do I have next? Oh, this is neat. I found this at my bookstore. The Nostradamus or the Lost Terra of Nostradamus, and this is awesome. It's confusing. I have not learned how to work it yet because it comes with two separate decks of tarot cards. And, uh, man, it's confusing with how big this book is. It gives you some history on Nostradamus, in case you don't know who he is. Um, it gives you tons of information. So, I mean, if I sat and actually, you know, read the book and, you know, spent some time with it, I could figure it out. But, look, it literally gives you two tarot decks. So, um, I haven't opened them yet, but they're pretty basic, as you can see. Nothing too fancy. Um, you do, it would help if you know, you know, Roman numerals. So, one's in gold, one's in silver, silver, this is the silver and that's the gold, the one I just showed you. And I don't know if you mix them together, you do it separately, I don't know if one's like a major arcana, one's a minor arcana, I'm not sure, I need to read the book, definitely, but I just want to show you guys this, I thought that was pretty cool, I found it at my local bookstore, um, Disney Books called. And I'm sure you can find this on Amazon if you're really interested in it. And then this is the back. This is the back. Can I see some of the tarot cards? They look like. I just like Nos Nostradamus. I like the history of him. I have a few books on him, so that's why I bought that. Um, the Crystal Visions Tarot. This was my absolute favorite tarot deck before I started buying tarot decks. I used, like, the heck out of this. And I don't know why I quit using it. Well, probably, you know, like I said, I kept buying new tarot decks. So, you know, you just forget about the old ones you have. But that's just so neat. Look at that. Four pentacles. Um, the world. I love this deck. The emperor. This one, a lot of people highly recommend. This is the eight of swords. Every single card is just, it just fills me up with, I don't know, happiness. I love crystals to begin with. And it also has an unknown card. And you can basically, you know, it means something different for everyone. And I thought that was really cool. A lot of tarot decks do that. And a lot of Oracle, you know, decks do that. So that's basically what Oracle decks are, you know. It's a bunch of unknown cards. Not like tarot. But I just thought that was neat that I was thrown into a tarot deck. Uh, what's another neat one? The Fool. I really like this one, how the butterflies are kind of holding your back. So, yeah. This one's interesting. And um, that's what the back of the artwork looks like. You see that? Um, it comes to a little white book, like this. And it's based on the Wainwright, so you don't really need a whole lot of information. You just need a, you know, basic tarot information. I mean, basic tarot knowledge, I guess I should say, in order to figure this out. Uh, what's next? I have one more. The Conscious Spirit Oracle Deck, written and illustrated by Kim Dreyer. And I guess I should say who these are by. This is by Kim Dreyer. The Druid... Craft Tarot is by um, Philip and Stephanie Cargom and illustrated by Will Worthington. And then I said that, who does, okay, I did that. Um, I said who that was by, the Nostradamus set. The Nostradamus Tarot is by John Matthews and illustrated by Will Kingham. And then the Crystal Visions Tarot is by Jennifer Galasso. Then I also, the last one, the Conscious Spirit Oracle. And I said who that was by. For some reason, this is very difficult to open. Um, well, this is what some of the artwork 
looks like. Back. And this reminds me, um, it has elements on it. Like, it'll say this is for, you know, air elemental, fire elements. This has a lot to do with the elementals and the air. It doesn't come out and say that, but that's how I connect with them. Because if you can see, I don't know how much you know about, um, well, let's just explain it. These symbols at the top, you probably can't really see that well, but there are symbols for earth, air, water, and fire, and every single card has one on there in the four corners. And look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that just gorgeous at the back of the card? And I think they, um, I haven't really read about them and how to use them, but they have to do with the chakras, and they have to do with, like I said, you know, this one obviously is fire. And they each have something at the bottom. It says, I embrace the elements of air and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. So, these are a very different type of oracle deck. And I like them a lot. I do. Um, I just, I don't know. I like them. They're different, but I do like them. They did get a four-star rating on Amazon, I believe. But I gave them a five-star. So, who knows? It might have gone up by now. I like them a lot. And then last but not least, here I'm going to use that away. And then it comes with a little white book. And then last but not least, I did get the Enchanted Spell Board. I finally, finally got this for Christmas. I was so excited. So I'm going to do some readings with this on YouTube. I do want to start doing some tarot readings and oracle card readings for you guys, but I don't know how popular I would be because I know that there's so many people on YouTube that do them. I might start out doing a New Year's reading. I know it's way past New Year's, but hey, I guess we'll do one, right? Or I could just call it the beginning of the year reading. I don't know. I might try it. But yeah. In case you don't know what an enchanted spell board is, it's like an Ouija board, but it's definitely totally different than the Ouija board. You're not calling on higher spirits. You're basically supposed to be calling on your higher self, like your higher crown chakra. You're supposed to align your, you know, get in touch with that, your higher self. And that's who is giving you the messages. And it has, um, yes, maybe, no, question. Um, it has angels around in a circle, it's like a circular board. I'm not going to open it and all that because it's going to be a big mess and it'll just take too long. It has angels, it has colors, it has amethyst, it has different, um, citrine, it has different crystals, it has trees. And if you know the means of, you know, different means of trees, different means behind crystals, different means behind colors. If you're into Wicca, you probably know all of this. So, um, I like this. I used it once. And, um, I didn't, I only asked it one question. I was in a hurry, so I wasn't really, you know, I didn't really meditate or anything. I didn't really get myself in the zone <laughs> before I used it. But, um, I want to read, it came with a book, so I want to read the book a little bit more before I get into it. Um, the back, it just kind of explains what it's about. And this is by, um, it says Magical Messages from the Spirit World. And it's by Amy Derner and Monte Ferber. I can never say that last name. Monte S A R B E R Ferber. And it says it's the authors of the Enchanted Tarot, the Psychic Circle. And the Psychic Circle is kind of like it's basically the same as this. Um, just has a little bit of different style. And the Tarot Discovery Kit. Oh, and then I do have one more. I'm sorry, that wasn't the last one. I got this today, so you're here for the opening. My Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Cards. <laughs> I wanted, I was debating on forever and if I should buy this one or not. Um, some people say they get good readings with it. It's, in case you don't know, it's what they did in the old days before, you know, when tarot and all that wasn't really a big thing. They use actual, you know, cards which is how you get your four suits, you know, the major, you know, the, um, I'm trying to say the king, queens, the page, the knights, it all comes from playing cards. And these are a little bit different, as you can see down here. Each one means something different. Um, I'm not going to open it right now because as you can see, it has that really 
tight plastic all over it, and I just cut my nails. They're extremely short, so. Um, and we are 24 minutes into this video. I don't want this to run forever, but yeah. I just got this today, so I will be playing with these tonight. I'm so excited. I can't wait to open this. Um, so I'll let you know how the, that goes in my next video, if I like these or if I don't. And if you guys, if anyone on here that's watching this video, if you guys have ever bought the Gypsy Witch fortune telling cards and if you have given people readings with it, please um, comment below and let me know how they went because I am really curious about this. And I'm also curious about the Enchanted Spell Board since I haven't really used it yet. Let me know how your readings have gone bad as well. Uh, so I hope you guys have had a good day. It's snowing here where I live, so it's been cold. So I just went aside all day. So I decided it would be a good time to make another video. So I haven't in probably months and months and months. <laughs> Can't even remember the last time I made a video for you guys. But uh, since I didn't get to say it, Happy Christmas and Happy New Year is belated. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.